guys, it's Lita. So today I'm going to be talking about a new hair dye that I tried recently. Um, if you guys follow my channel and subscribe to me, you know that I dyed my hair gray um, in Halloween with uh, Ion Titanium. Um, that is the dye that they brought back. And um, this is actually freshly dyed gray hair. I did it yesterday, but I used a different Ion product and I did some research on it and there's not too many like YouTube videos of people using this particular Ion dye. That's also a gray dye. So I wanted to try it out and share my results with you guys in case like you don't like the way that um, Ion Titanium kind of fades. It, it gets kind of like a greenish tint to it when it washes out. Um, I'm not a big fan of that either, so uh, I just wanted to see if there were other options besides, you know, Pravana. Um, because I don't really want to ship out for my dye. I tried that and it like sucks when you're waiting for your dye and you need to get your hair dyed. So I'm, I'm not doing, I'm not doing Pravana. I don't know any like stylists that can get me into like a Cosmo Pro or anything like that so um, I have to stick to Sally's so the dye that I got is this it's um yeah it's super shiny so I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see um, but it's chrome it's a demi permanent dye by ion um, and this dye which I didn't know um, you need to have a developer when you're using this, unlike with titanium. Titanium is good to go. You just like slap that on your head and your hair is going to be gray. If you have light enough hair, obviously, you know, like I hope people know that you have to bleach your hair to get light gray hair or gray hair or any bright colored hair. You must bleach your hair if your hair is dark like mine. And my hair is, my natural hair color is really dark, dark, dark brown, almost black. So, um, you have to use a developer. They say use Ion's um, 10 volume developer with this chrome. And pretty much what I did was I have titanium and chrome in my hair. And I don't know if you can see like the difference it's pretty dark in here I really tried with the lights um I have no idea like I don't know why it's so freaking dark in my house it's like stupid sunny outside so but like the light yeah this is totally not gonna show up the lightest parts right here um that is titanium that I mixed for the first time with holy crap that's bright uh, the clear diluter. This is the first time I've used this. I think it worked out really well. A lot of people use conditioner when they dilute their dyes or pastelize their dyes. That has never worked out for me and yes I have used the right conditioner. If you use a silicone based conditioner it is not going to allow the dye to take to your hair. I knew that. I used the right conditioner. It still didn't do anything. So um, I have a combination of the two colors. The lightest silver in my hair would be the titanium and um, the darker parts because I had a lot of green in my hair. So the darker parts would be the chrome. And you can kind of see like right there, like right there the lighter parts and then the darker parts of my hair. It's not focusing. So, I'm sorry, my SD card is like stopping my camera, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, so, um, for Chrome, I, I, uh, got the Demi Permanent, there is a Permanent, but I wanted to try it before I put like permanent shit in my hair, hair, head, Ugh. Before I put like permanent in my hair because I wanted to see what it was gonna do. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with the results. It was a really easy dye to work with. 
uh, titanium and a lot of ion bright colors are really thick thick formulas so um, a lot of people do use the shade diluter or like I said um, dilute it with conditioner but overall I'm pretty pleased with the chrome dye um, I didn't do like a tutorial for you guys you guys see my me like dye my hair like so many times I'm sure you're over it I was over filming one of those so if uh, if you guys are looking for gray hair and you don't want to try titanium this is another option for you guys I may do an update on like how long this takes to wash out um, titanium you usually get like three weeks three or four depending on how much you wash your hair um, <clears throat> It, and then it starts doing that like weird green thing. Um, I'm hoping this dye doesn't do the weird green thing, but I think what I'm going to do is if it starts doing that, I'm going to add a little bit of titanium into my conditioner and just try and tone it out. Um, I do have another tube of, oh no wait, uh, I have half a tube of chrome. So in total, it took one tube of titanium and one and a half tubes of chrome with um, 10 volume developer by ION. So I hope you guys will ask some questions if you have questions about this hair dye and all that stuff. Um, I was just really surprised that nobody has actually done a review on chrome with like this crazy like gray hair like trend that's going on so that's another option for you guys um comment down below if you've used this dye before what you think of it if you use titanium what you thought of like titanium and how it turns green sometimes and thank you guys for watching this video please like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on other social media i follow back on all and the links will be posted down below Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.